One of the most underrated survival games has got a sequel and it looks like it's going to be releasing soon. Did any of you ever play Kona? This released back in 2016 on Steam and then eventually hit Xbox as well as PlayStation in 2017. It's kind of like The Long Dark. You are in Canada, you are surviving against the harsh wilderness. Obviously the cold is a main part of that, but you are investigating some sort of disturbance or mystery in this small town. You have to keep warm and that's the basic survival mechanics there. It's not the most challenging of games and it's got that psychological horror feel to it a little bit, but that's what the game was back in 2017. It was decent enough, the survival mechanics weren't very harsh though. Once you got to grips with it, you found it was pretty easy to stay warm, and as long as you maybe trial and errored a little bit in what direction you went in the open world, then you'd never really have to worry about getting frozen. So what is the sequel gonna offer? Well, probably more of the same. Kona 2 Broom is set in 1970s rural northern Quebec in Canada. A bizarre mist, the broom is disconnecting a rural mining village from its quiet reality. Step into the shoes of Detective Carl Fubert as he unfolds the mysteries haunting the region while battling for his own survival. It does very much remind me a little bit also of something like Alan Wake, the premise of the mist being some sort of weird otherworldly mystery. That could be interesting. If you was always a big fan of the story mode from The Long Dark, then I think you'd really enjoy this. Likewise, obviously, the original one. It's definitely got more of a supernatural element to it, though, judging by these screenshots. So yeah, this got announced a couple of days ago. It was a bit out of the blue. Apparently, they're also going to have an update to the original game, which is a bit odd, four years after maybe its kind of release. It is a direct sequel to the original game, but you'll be exploring new ground and a storyline that lives on its own. So I guess it's trying to say it can be satisfying as something if you played the original, but you don't have to have played it. So yeah, it's going to be playable at Gamescom on the August 24th, 29th. And I guess it's going to maybe release later on this year if they've already got a demo up for it and stuff. But it has to be said, it doesn't state what year, it just says coming soon. Make your trek through snowy landscapes of northern Canada and discover that you are not entirely alone. Find other stranded people, both victims and survivors of a devastating avalanche, and uncover the hidden dark truth of the broom. Explore the vast, fictive land of Manistan in northern Canada and fight your way through the village or what's left of it. Search up for clues in wooden shacks, visit nearby locations on your trusty dog sled and navigate the surrounding lakes. Investigate, follow your clues and findings very carefully. Consult Carl Fubert's journal and put your detective skills to the test. Can you piece together the mystery behind the broom? The broom is relentless, a bitter cold blizzard, dangerous wildlife and troubling nightmares. Prepare to survive against all odds. A rich story unfolds with every step you take. Find and inspect objects, letters and documents, while an ominous storyteller narrates your journey in Manistan. There's been a bunch of games where you survive in the cold lately, or seemingly been in development a while, like Winter Simulator and such like. But I'm interested in this one. The idea of having a bit of a supernatural slant to it and mystery elevates it above beyond just a survival simulator. The original game had 83% positive review scores, and that's pretty decent. So yeah, I'm going to check this out and give you guys more info. So who knows, maybe I'll give the original a stream one day. I'm definitely going to keep tabs now on Kona 2 Broom. And that's it. Until next time, Rat Bags, this has been Survival Show. I'll see you later.